A new initiative aims to get more seniors involved as volunteers at active aging centers island-wide. More than 2,400 will be recruited and trained in areas like befriending seniors or organizing and facilitating activities at centers near their homes or workplaces under the Silver Guardians program by the Agency for Integrated Care AIC. Health Minister Ong Yi Kang described the initiative as the fourth prong of H, well SG, a national program that encourages seniors to live healthily and actively in the community. Being able to contribute to society can give people a sense of purpose and self-worth, said Mr. Ong. Through volunteerism, seniors can continue to make a meaningful impact on the lives of people around them and remain active, healthy and socially connected, he said, during the launch of the initiative on April 5 at the Presbyterian Community Services Esther Active Aging Centre. Mr. Ong added that the Silver Guardians will complement the existing Silver Generation Ambassadors, volunteers recruited to engage elderly people in their homes and communities and connect them to relevant government schemes. It is also run by AIC, the agency tasked with coordinating care for seniors. While focused on senior volunteers, the Silver Guardians program is open to all age, teen and above. Between April and December 2023, AIC conducted a pilot program of the Silver Guardian Initiative to understand the support required by Active Aging Centers AACs and how volunteers can best contribute. Under the pilot program, 200 volunteers were dispatched to 12 centers where they facilitated activities such as communal cooking and reached out to seniors living nearby to connect them with the center. Through the pilot, AECs were able to resource more interesting activities for seniors. Many of the volunteers were seniors themselves who found joy in sharing their interests with others and spending their time purposefully, said AIC in a media release. The pilot program showed that volunteers benefit greatly, perhaps even more than the beneficiaries themselves, said Mr. Ong. For example, those who facilitated exercise programs themselves became fitter and healthier. He said, Volunteers can choose volunteer opportunities based on their own skills and interests, but also have the option of being trained in specialized skills, such as community befriending and designing active aging programs. Learning institutes appointed by AIC will provide training. AIC will also try to match Silver Guardians to active aging centers near their homes or workplaces to make volunteering more accessible, said Mr. Ong. As at March 2024, there were 157 active aging centers island-wide, a number that is expected to grow to 220 by 2025. Singapore is set to become a super rich society by 2026 when 21% of the population will be above the age of 65. Mr. Ong added that the agency is exploring a national-level Silver Guardian Awards to recognize exemplary and active volunteers. AIC Chief Executive Officer Dinesh Vosudesh said the Silver Guardian program would support active aging centers in their work, adding that volunteerism can help seniors age well in the community. It becomes even more powerful if seniors join us to contribute to fellow seniors. Not only will they create a meaningful impact on the lives of those around them, they can also find fulfillment and expand their social connections. He said. One senior volunteer is Mr. Mohammed Seller Bidin, 72, who volunteers at the Sarah Active Aging Centre in Bukit Mera. The former musician, who accompanies other seniors, to medical appointments as part of his volunteer work, said volunteering has been a meaningful way to spend his free time in his golden years.